Mark, a bit of a break, of a break since our last game. Obviously, Kings on Saturday. What's your thoughts ahead of that game? We'll try to utilise the, the two weeks the best we can. We've worked hard on the training pitch. We've had a couple of cl uh, behind closed doors games as well to build up the fitness of some of the players that needed that. Some of the players come back from injury. So the sun's shining. We've had a good couple of weeks and uh, we're looking to put it into practice on Saturday. We've touched on those two friendlies a little bit more. Obviously, two under 23s teams, two games in a week. It's good fitness for them and good results from along the way as well. Yeah, I think we've got a lot out of them. And, um, you know, we're, we're fortunate to have good relationships with those clubs. And they come down and they, they've tested us. And, um, you know, it's a great, great, two great exercises for us. And, um, yeah, I think it breaks up the, the two week break as well nicely. So we've been able to combine you know, training and a lot of different drills and then trying to put it into practice in games as well. Of course, with the Bournemouth game, or QPR game rather, obviously Harry Pete getting a hat-trick, Mikel getting on the score sheet, it's good for their confidence going into this game. Yeah, absolutely. And we, look, we're looking to build in a, in a range of ways, you know, your fitness, but you can't beat confidence as well. And uh, maybe we've been lacking a little bit. Results always does that to you. We know we, we know that we haven't had the best results of late. Um, like I said, we've got to keep using that to... To, to drive us and, and bring out the best in us and um, you know certainly using them games and, and getting positive results is, is, is always key to creating more confidence. Looking at the Stockport game obviously you know you're going into top of the league haven't won or oh, have won rather than the last 16 games or something it's going to be a tough test for any team so going into this game now it means it's all the more important. Yeah look the next game is always the biggest off, off the back of Stockport we always knew what a great team they are and whoever if anyone finishes above them they've won the league that is for sure you know I think Stockport are, you know probably the favourites now for them, rightly so. And um, look, we're aggrieved. The first one's offside. You know, they're quite, it's quite a clear call right in front of the linesman. He's missed it. Um, but we can't control that. We have to control our reaction. We can't let one goal become two. And then at half-time, we give ourselves a mountain to climb against, against top of the league. So, um, look, we're always, we're always going to be uh, harsh on ourselves. We, we know that we pride ourselves on being hard to beat and defending well. And we did for large spells of that game. But we, we've got to balance our game out a bit more. We can't just be this tough nut to crack. We've got to be able to get on the front foot and, and create more as well. And we're certainly looking to do that. Um, we're trying to evolve and grow. And sometimes those steps take a little bit longer than we would like. Um, but amongst those steps in the tough times, they're the ones where you do grow and, and, and get better. Um, we've, got, we've got to use um, you know, the re recent results to, to drive us on. Um, you know, we can't live in fear in this league. It's a, it's a tough league. We've got to start um, showing how good we are because I really believe in this group. I really believe in the players. They, they work hard every day um, and I, and I want to I see more from them. I, I want them to play with a little bit more freedom but within a, a solid structure which has served us well in, a, in, a, in our great run. You know, not many teams have gone on a run like us for that period of time and we've got to show those characteristics again, get on a good run and, and, and enjoy the rest of the season. Three bits of positive news, obviously three youngsters have signed extended deals, Tommy, Ben and Alfie, what was the thinking behind that? I think uh, continue to grow our assets, uh, three, three lads who have all had good minutes in the first team, you know they've earned that through training hard. Um, it keeps the conveyor belt coming from from the from the academy up to the first team, and um, you know this is what this club's about. It's the club of opportunity. Um, we've those those young lads, like I said, have, have earned the right for that shirt. We're not we're not doing it just to applaud the academy because they do such a great job, which, which they do. They, 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 you have to earn it. It's not it's not a given. And and those three lads have certainly earned their chances, earned their minutes on the pitch and, and earned, their, earned their contract as well. And their, their players, are, I think, the, the future looks bright if they continue to show that, that, that attitude and, and application that they've shown ever since they've walked through the door. You touched on it there, obviously shows that younger players are given the chance here and they want to progress and hopefully further on with Old Shot Town as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what a platform. Like, you know, we, we talk about... I think everyone talks about how strong this league is now and that, what, what, what a great challenge, you know, it's such a, you go and play well on a Saturday against Stockport and Wrexham, that, that, you know, that, that's the real valid league and game for, for teams in the higher reaches, but first and foremost, let's, let's drive this team up, up the league, so um, yeah, plenty of motivation for the, for the young lads, um, you know, a great club to be at as well. Injury update, of course, Kev Locko played in the two friendlies at the week, obviously Kins, what's the latest on them? Yeah, Kev locko has got some minutes and those games were, were vital for him. Uh, we, again, we've got to be so careful. He's been out a long, a long time. It's, um, it's great to have him back in and around the group. Um, you know, he's a very experienced player, good player, but also his, his leadership skills and his character in and around the place really gives everyone a lift as well. So, got to be careful. We go into a big three-game week, um, so we'll have to introduce him slowly. 
um, and look after him. And then obviously Kins is um, back around the boys the last couple of days as well. So um, we'll pick him up and he's starting to join in now. And again, probably been out just a little bit too long that we can't just rush him straight back in. There's obviously some protocols and some checks that we have to have to go through a few more with, with Kins because, like I said, we, we need him back ASAP, but we need him to come back and stay back. Just a final word on the Kingsland game. Obviously, last time we played at their place, it was a scrappy game of really tough conditions. Going to be similar, hopefully, a win for us this time again as well. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to, you know, really be focused, really professional. We're going to have to stick to our roles and responsibilities and we're going to have to show bravery. You know, the, the, these are the games. We're getting to the stage of the season now where the emotion of the game, the tension of the game, the pressures, um, you know, contracts. There's everything about being a footballer, um, you know, you really learn out about yourself um, in, in his last part of the season. So, you know, it's now time to stand up be counted and take care of business you know we've we've got to look after ourselves we've got to look after our own house we can't rely on anyone else we've got to get out we've got to perform we've got to get the points on board and we've got to continue to grow are you in with a shot look below for more information click here for the next video click here to subscribe